This is our second uh, second video on manual punching. Uh, let's get started. Uh, I'm going to do the use the magic wand to, to create the red thread. Here's the magic wand. I'm going to left click it, and my I have my fancy little crosshair. Now, when I left click that, it picks up the outline automatically, and then I have to. Uh, OK, I left click on OK in the tolerance area box. It has color and noise and good clean images. It doesn't need any adjustment at all. Left click OK to accept it. Puts it in the film strip over here. I'm going to left click on the other one to, to do it too. And I'll OK. And you see it looks a little strange up here. That's because it is a little strange up there. There's a highlight in there that uh, didn't get picked up. And I'm know that a magic wand will not pick that up so we'll fix it some other way uh, I'll double right click to cancel the tool for the moment though and since I'm gonna be working in the area of the needle here I'm gonna make this needle invisible so that any kind of work I do here will not uh, unintentionally select the, the needle uh, I'm gonna use the plus zoom tool first to enlarge this area or make it easier to to work with. Now I will uh, uh, right click to cancel the zoom tool and then I'm going to get out of 3D a little bit where I can see this a little bit better. Now I will uh, activate the, man uh, the uh, magic wand again and then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to left click in this area and pick up that highlight. I'll OK that and now we have it in the film strip too. I really want to merge these two together, so I'm going to come over here and left click. Well, first, I need to double right click to cancel the tool. Okay, now I'll left click the the first one here, or actually the second one, or the third and fourth film strip, what it really is. Both of them are selected. Now I'm going to go to the outline view, and I want these to be all one piece. Uh, the red is a predominant color. It's bigger, so when I click on the merge, it's going to uh, merge it to the to the one single red color. Except it's not quite ready to go here yet. I need to right click again and go back and get some more work done. Uh, I need to create. I need to fill fill a void this time. Fill a void gets me a little pointer hand. I'll reach up here and when I touch that piece, it changes colors on me. Left click it when it does. And now I need to right click to cancel that tool and right click again the gray area to get another tool here. Uh, I need to uh, uh, adjust with the arc here, I think, to get that little wobble out of the line, out of the thread line. Green dot there and a green dot up here. Touch it in the middle and it changes colors. Left click it and attaches to the mouse, as you can see there. I can bring it back here and just left click it where I want it and there it is I can generate stitches again but it's still not quite the way I want it here I need to uh, make an adjustment to it I'm going to have to adjust the outline and probably the, the stitch angle here too because the stitch angles are sort of set in there and if I change the outline area I'm going to have to go back and change those but anyway let's do this first I'm going to right click in the area to get the tool I want I want to adjust with new points. I want to start about here and end about over here, I think, about like that. I'm going to left click there. You always go back to, to the vicinity of the first dot that you set, and then you can start left clicking to define the new outline or line that you want. I'm uh, right clicking and left clicking here guys uh, most of it's right clicking only on the end I know they're doing any left clicking and it's not really shaped the way I want it to yet let me see if I have time to do this adjust with an arc and adjust that smooth that out a little bit I'm, I'm terrible when it comes to punching lines here 
Ah, that looks pretty good now. Now when I generate this thing, the angles aren't right down here. I need to fix that. Uh, so I need to uh, go back to uh, the view angle tool that I need. And you see that angle is all strange. And now I need to those angle points were for a very small piece on the end and now there's big okay I think that'll work that looks about right to me I need to do the other side too why don't I turn this thread back on I need to turn that thread back on where I can see the line in outline view Okay, that's not too bad. I came pretty close to it. Probably close enough. Uh, now I will... And I couldn't even see it. Okay. Now I need to uh, go get my tool here. And I'm going to adjust this one over here a little bit too. As well. I'm going to start... I'm, I'm doing the, the uh, new line thing. The new line tool. Adjust the new points. And I'm adjusting the new points here now. See, now I can see the line. I can put it right on it. And that looks like about right, right there. Don't always get it right, and you got to adjust it again. That looks okay, I think. Generate stitches. Only my, my end tags and out tags are and the stitch angle down here. Maybe treating out the stitch angle first. Uh, view angle here. Oh, wow. See, when you start changing the outline of a satin area, I know it says auto judge down to the bottom, but it really is a satin area under auto judge. I've told you before, and I'll just repeat it, that auto judge really is a special stitch type for generations. I'm going to click on generate here. Uh, yeah, that looks okay, but now I need this endpoint to where I need to adjust those. Uh, I need this endpoint down here, over here, and the out point this way. I want to sew in this direction and continue it this way. So that means that this one uh, must have its end tag adjusted to over here vicinity that'll give me a very minimal movement of the pantograph before it starts sewing the red thread again it'll stop here and move a short distance stop here trim and then move over and start sewing again and stop down here okay uh, I think that's about all let me put it in 3d view and just see what it looks like in 3d view not too bad compensation here will play a part in making this look right. Right now it doesn't look quite right, but uh, compensation and the 3D rendering isn't always perfect for us, that's concerned. So we need to accommodate, uh, realize that, that when it shows out, it will look okay. I'm done. Talk to you later.